婆来训练翻佢。I know this is like nothing compared to the states, but wow, it's snowing! Only when it snows is it okay to wake up someone. Look, snow! Not again. <laughs> These food tantrums. When he's so much more happier in Ikea than he was at Disneyland. Oh yo! Come on, you can get up. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Let's take a moment to appreciate this corkboard. If only. Oh. Thank you, Cassandra, for this awesome cork board. I'm just currently waiting for Isaac to wake up from his nap, and then I'm gonna be taking him to my sister's. We're gonna try to make it like a weekly thing for him to see his cousins so they can really bond. As I said in a previous vlog, guys, we're really having an issue with Isaac's food tantrums. I think the thing to do really is to just, no matter what, just stick to your words. When we say he's done with his food, He's done. It's just been Isaac and I all day. Oh. Luckily I got Isaac to keep me company. So what do you do when you're bored? You look at shopping channels and see what gimmick products they're selling. Home. Oh. My sister used to say that whenever you're stressed, you just do this. Things have been tricky by myself. Um, haven't even had a chance to turn on my laptop to answer emails, never mind to film and edit, so I'm sorry guys. Uh, but truth is, Isaac is going through, I want to say hopefully a phase. He just seems to have something called um, the stranger anxiety. He never used to have this. He used to just you know, run to anybody's arms and be happy. But now, even when my mom stares at him, he would cry and this never used to happen. And it's quite disheartening for my mom and my granny. But um, hopefully it's a phase. I actually took him back to my parents uh, for a couple days. Just hoping to get some help, but it just turns out that it was even more work having him there because he was just so distraught and he keeps crying lately, like crying, crying, crying. Ah, the crying, the precious, adorable crying. I don't want to sound like I'm like whining, which is going to be hard because I am, <laughs> but I'm so tired, guys. I haven't slept for more than two hours at a go because he's not sleeping well. And I think because it's been so cold in Northern Ireland lately, he's just struggling to sleep. Maybe he's not well, so um, I don't want to just give him cowpole whenever I get the chance, but I, I might have to. But as you can see, he's so much happier here. What's that? You know when Isaac first said mama, it was like music to the ears. It's like, say it again. <laughs> Do you like saying it? Mama. <laughs> What's wrong with you, little one? He's been very clingy and whiny lately. He hasn't really been himself. 
I miss Tim Chubby and Domo. I wonder what Tim's doing. Probably getting lots of ample rest. Lots of free time. I'm happy for him. Separation anxiety is normal, unexpected, part of a toddler's cognitive and emotional development. Completely normal for toddlers and will almost certainly fade as he matures and begins to gain more control over his feelings. Ah, oh, cup of tea to keep me sane. And digestive biscuits. There is this game and it's called Quiz Up that my friend told me to download. And since I'm such a friends fanatic, I've been challenging Tim and he has been losing. Monica, 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 Monica. Monica! Uh, Joey? <laughs> Phoebe! Phoebe! Yes, she's your lobster! Oh, uh, oh, Monica, that was a bit slow. Chandler, Chandler! Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Bonus round. Ross, 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 Ross. I only need to use this app for friends. Please, please, if you have hearts, pray for us. Pray for Isaac so I don't snap at him.